often do you go to a thrift store? Do you know where the funds go? It's a two-fold question, and I've got two guests to talk about how popular and economical it is, especially if you want to check out a trendy little project called the East End Boutique at the Salvation Army Family Thrift Store. Cariel Hutt and Josh Shook are students at Augusta University, and you two are part of a, a group of people I, who have taken on this neat assignment to bring awareness to thrift shopping and how fashion savvy you can be with with thrift shopping. Thanks for being here. Of course, thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. I hope you're not missing class to be here. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, no. no. We, planned it. we planned it well. <laughs> yeah. they, they are seniors and they're looking forward to, to graduating from Augusta University. Um, how did the idea get started with the idea to do this boutique at the thrift store? First of all, Augusta University is really into service and service learning projects. That's been something that's been a common thread through all of our, our courses, our upper level business courses through the past several semesters. Yes. Um, we are in an entrepreneurship and small business class and the whole idea is to prepare us for when we go into, you know, into the community, start our own businesses here in the CSRA or go work for for other people, so we really wanted to sort of get a good sense of what it was like to run our own business, and that's yeah. one of the things that's interesting about about this project is that we, uh, you know, other than the idea, it's it's us. It's we can, we do the scheduling, we do the training for, you know, all of all of the employees that we're going to need, even the Salvation Army staff, which is sort of an auxiliary staff for us. We have to te tell them and show them what we need and what we need done. Right. So the idea came from Professor Kane, and we just kind of took it and ran with it. What about, this is um, a little store within the store. Yes, so within the store what we did was we planned, we had a whole class day where we planned um, the marketing, how we were gonna get get our store out, how we were gonna like make it known towards everybody. We um, had our finances, how we were gonna how we were gonna separate our prices from the Salvation Army, Army prices, but everything still goes back to the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. So we separated everything, and we had the first group of students go last week, and we we went and picked out what we wanted to sell in our part of the East End boutique, and we had also had bring had kids bring in other stuff that we didn't need anymore like I have two bags full of them like I have, girls go through clothes like crazy so I know I have a bunch of stuff to give away but um, there's a few guys that I worked with that day and they brought a bunch of stuff and it was good because we could we tagged them how we wanted to tag them we had hangers we had um, mannequins and everything set up so it's coming it's, it's up and coming and it's actually a real fun project to do because a lot of projects in school everybody hates it but actually it's a group effort and the group effort makes it a lot more fun don't you find working with a group, it's it's neat to see who brings what to the table. Yeah, it's really great. So <clears throat> one of the things we've learned in this one is that, you know, we have a lot of really fascist, fashion conscious students. So for us, we, you know, we've been able to bounce ideas. We actually have a running list of all the brands that we're trying to stock in our in our little store within our store so it's been great and I, I don't think either of us could have done it separately on our know. own and come up you know sort of brainstorm the kind of products that we're trying to sell and the kind of products that people want here it never would have happened without you know the 30 something people that are working on this with us so. that's great because if you can kind of pick out those brands then mm -hmm. people will know who want to find that they'll know to go to East End exactly. Boutique. And that's kind of how we are kind of describing it. We're sort of like a, a personal shopper with a cause because, right. you know, we, we are trying to find brands that we know people will like and enjoy and at the same time raise money for the Salvation Army to, you know, to benefit the charitable works that they do. So we're sort of, you know, we're trying to dress you and, and help out at the same time. I love that idea. Um, I want to take a quick break here, and when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about how this does benefit the Salvation Army and how you can help uh, make East End Boutique thrive. Stay with us. At Napleton Infinity of Augusta, drive luxury and style for less. Lease new Infinity Q50s with premium package from only $279 a month. Or lease the world-class 2017 Infinity QX30 SUV from only $249 a month. Now that's a luxury for less. Only at Napleton Infinity get no payments for 90 days. Also, 0% APR is available on select new Infinity models. Where you shop matters. Shop Napleton Infinity of Augusta online at infinityofaugusta.com. Who do you think Captain D was? I believe Captain D was Captain D. Bradford of the legendary bowling team, the Guppies. Her love of seafood inspired her secret weapon. A 
Unfortunately, it also ended her bowling career. I'm not buying it. Smart move, Jeff. Buy Captain D's new homestyle shrimp for only $4.99 instead. It's breaded just right and paired with our batter dipped fish. For full meals starting at $4.99, it's gotta be D's. Grit. Some have it, some don't. When the odds are stacked against you, you either hide or stand up. At Strayer University, we've seen it in our students for 125 years. And if you ever think of quitting, our success coaches will be there to pick you up and work with you every day to put you on the right path. It's time. Strayer University. Let's get it, America. The Battle of Aiken is back. Bring the kids to feel the cannon's thunder and hear the cavalry charge. See hundreds of soldiers fight to save Augusta and Aiken. See Carolina's award-winning largest outdoor drama. Exhibits, crafts, camp tours, historic music and dances. Bring your kids to see history come alive. This weekend, rain or shine. Need to get the most money back on your tax return? It's time to call WMW Tax Preparation. We specialize in maximizing your tax return. Tired of using big national chains? We are local and we work to get you the biggest return possible. So now we're going to put on these outfits, try them on, and show you guys what they look like on. So for our first outfits, Amy and I are both wearing our denim dresses that we found, and these are perfect for back to school. Amy's actually wearing a maroon or ox blood colored sweater, which is so in for this fall season. I'm wearing Converse, and Amy has on some polka dot bow flats. Here, Amy is wearing the black jeans that she found and a denim shirt with a white tank top and a polka dot scarf and I have on the oversized sweater with some combat boots and jeggings. Here we are just wearing some striped tops. Amy has on a striped sweater with a green scarf and my scarf is an ox blood colored scarf. And I have on some combat boots. So for Michael's first outfit, he found this awesome brown Volcom pullover for only $3.49 and he just paired that with some khaki shorts. Defender Roof is quickly becoming the CSRA's number one roofer. The trusted pros from Defendicode started Defender Roof to offer you quality, dependability, and lifetime warranties on all your roofing needs. Repairs, shingle roofs, metal roofs, and commercial roofs. Defender Roof is a preferred installer for all insurance carriers. Call Defender Roof before you call your insurance company and we'll handle all the details. And you may qualify for free upgrades and reduced copays. 706-550-1485. At Miller Mott Technical College, we're here to help you work smarter. There's always help available to you. I could go to any one of them and they would help me. We know your life is already busy. Miller Mott has you covered with multiple start dates, flexible class schedules, and even online options. We'll help you discover different ways to pay for school. Financial aid and even military benefits are available for those who qualify. You'll work smart from the start. Miller Mott helps you choose your ideal career and then supports you with individual attention, hands-on training, and instructors with real-world experience. What's more, we'll assist you with job placement now and in the future. Classes are starting soon, so make the smart move today. Call or click now to receive your free information guide to review your options. And be sure to visit millermott.edu forward slash TV. It's time to work smarter. Work smarter. Go further. Take the first step today. Tax refund deals are going on now at Great Deals on Furniture. Buy a Surter iComfort mattress and get a free foundation or save up to $1,000 on a power base. Get a Surter Queen mattress for $2.99 or a Surter Power Base and Memory Foam mattress for $9.99. Pay cash and get an instant cash rebate or take 36 months to pay with no interest. That's an instant cash rebate or pay no interest until 2020. Tax refund deals going on now at Great Deals on Furniture. Bobby Jones Expressway next to Sam's. 
Welcome back, everyone. Cariel Hutt and Josh Shook are with me today. We're talking about a new project at the Salvation Army Family Thrift Store on Wrightsboro Road. It's called the East End Boutique. Now, take us there. You walk in the store. How do we know? You know that there's an area that's East End Boutique. Is it going to jump right out at us? Yes. Yeah. Well, one thing is they gave us the the front window, so we will have that front display window, which is glass. Oh, and the, all oh the area how great is that? that? So, yeah, we we are literally the front, front. center face so of that store, at least in. for now. Um, but we are also trying, you know, the displays that we're putting in. We're we're putting, you know, actual mannequins, putting actual outfits together, so people will know how to coordinate the, yeah. the kinds of things you know which is very different from the rest of the store which is sort of a treasure hunt in, you know, right. in a lot of ways right so it's pretty you know we we've intentionally tried to make it have a theme so that when you walk in you you feel like you're in a different store even though you're in right. a store within a store right yeah yeah and the you um like you said, you, it's a group project and you have different people that are manning it, that are working, running the, the cash registers and everything else that you're doing there. Um, and inventory, your inventory comes from donations. So think about this the next time you're getting ready to uh, maybe clean out for masters, clean out a spare bedroom and you've got clothes you don't wear anymore. They can drop them off and even drive up and drop them off. Exactly. Somebody will come right out to the car and get them. But they're particular brands that you're looking for for East End Boutique. What are some of those? Some of the high-end brands like Polo, Calvin Klein, Nike, Adidas. We also have a sports section in, within our boutique as well because we have a lot of athletes in our class. A lot of athletes are within the business school. We have... Um, what are, there's some there's a bunch there's a bunch of high end boutiques. We also if you want to donate your prom dresses, you can bring those up there as well. Uh -huh. You can bring in a, there's I don't know what all of them are called honestly. Yeah, I mean we have thou literally thousands of <laughs> of names <laughs> at this point. But yeah, the, the sort of things that you would normally find, you know, seven jeans, those kind, you know, mm -hmm. up, upscale things. And sort of what, what we found in learning doing this project is when we spoke to the Salvation Army folks, they didn't have any any pricing structure to differentiate between brands. So like yeah. if you took a pair of jeans those jeans sold for three dollars right. or you know or w w whatever the cost was yes. for those and so that you know the, that couple of dollars difference can be the difference between offering a night of shelter for someone which is the ultimate right. end goal so that's what we're trying to do is to pick out the brands that are worth a little more still not you know you know exorbitantly expensive because it is still a thrift well store. sure and and thrift shopping is very trendy right now People, it people yep. love it. Young people love it, and you you seem to um, to realize. Well, you know, if I want to wear something for a night, but I don't necessarily want to invest all this money in it, go get it at a thrift store, <laughs> wear exactly. it, and then you know, you, it's kind of like just sort of renting it, right? Exactly. Get it, but not putting all the money into it. I know my kids are often running out to a thrift store to look for, you know, to look for particular things. I wonder if you have any idea about uh, how you would market it and how you are you using social media to let people know about it? Yes, we created a Facebook page. We also came up in class. We're going to hand out flyers and we're going to give off percentage it is with different color flyers. So if we go to the mall, if you have a blue flyer, I don't know. We didn't really decide on what the percentage is right. yet, but with each flyer, there's different percents off and. There's, we're gonna, we made a Facebook page, current, he created it for us, and we put a few pictures up that we have from the store currently. Yeah. So it's still coming up and running, and we're still going to figure out how to get all the prices different, differentiated. Well, that's really, really neat. And I, I think it's just wonderful that you are being exposed at how uh, business and community work together because it is important to you know support your community and as you know the Salvation Army thrift store all the money that goes in there goes back to support the programs offered at the Center of Hope and to help deal with with homelessness in our community and to raise awareness while you're still in college about this sort of thing I think it's just is terrific. <clears throat> well, yeah, absolutely. So when we we actually had the director of the Salvation Army here in Augusta come speak to us and I think a lot of us didn't realize what the Salvation Army does. You right. know, they mm -hmm. offer utility assistance for mm -hmm. people. You know, for you know, if your lights or power are going to be shut off, if you had some sort of challenge like that, job training and that kind of thing. So right. for us, you know, it's a fun project because we get to create our own business and you know, fail or or succeed. It's kind of <laughs> on us anyway. But it also everything we we're making is going to 
to help people so it matters a little bit more. Well, it's right. a purpose. Exactly. What you're doing has a purpose and you're going to get a grade for Absolutely. it and you're going to exactly. get credit for it, but there's a lasting purpose to what you're doing and you can always be proud of that. And, yeah. and we're the first class to so, do this. Yes. So this is new for us, but we're hoping if it succeeds and we, you know, we don't completely crash and burn <laughs> <laughs> between between now and then we can pass this off to, you know, the next Thanks. incoming class of management marketing majors so that this can keep going because I'm yeah. assuming it works out. I'm sure that Salvation Army would be willing uh, would to appreciate and yeah. allow this con to continue past mm -hmm. us when we graduate. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. and I think it would be the kind of idea they'd love to see happen at, at the other stores exactly. as well, North Augusta and Thompson, that it would be great to be able to have something like that where students could get involved. Absolutely. So I, I love it, and I love it that you all have taken the time to come here. I do want to thank Captain Philip Canning and Kevin Kane, your professor, yeah. for uh, thinking outside the box and coming up with a really neat idea like that that benefits in two ways. It benefits the community and it benefits you as students. And it's a, it's a real win-win. So be sure to check out the East End Boutique. It's at the Family Thrift Store on Wrightsboro Road. And we'll have all this information for you on our Facebook page as well. So uh, take time to go over there. It's Jenny WJBF and you can find it also on our website. Thanks again, guys, for being here. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. I'll see you next Tuesday right here at 1230 for Jenny.